What's up guys, welcome to another Tech Gear Talk video. Today I wanna to talk about the Sennheiser Hand Mic Digital and why I think it's a great tool for anyone who's looking to make their mobile videos or podcasts sound better. I'm really excited about this mic because it allows me to very easily and simply get great audio directly into my iOS device which saves me from having to sync it later on in post. In addition to just telling you what I think about this mic, I'm also going to include some samples so that you can actually hear the difference for yourself. And I'll also include some tips for working with this mic, so hopefully it can improve your overall experience. You can see that rather than a traditional 3.5 millimeter jack, the hand mic digital can connect to the iOS device directly via the lightning port. I've been able to connect my other high-end external microphones to my iOS devices in the past, but they always required an adapter of some sort. This is the first time where I can connect a really nice external microphone directly into my iOS device. Audio is a critical part of every video. There are so many videos that I see on YouTube that have great content, great image quality, but the audio is horrible to the point where it becomes disruptive. And I've turned off tons of videos because I just couldn't sit there and listen to them. As a rule, you always wanna get the microphone as close as you can to the source. And it's very difficult to beat the versatility of a handheld mic. Because you can connect this microphone directly to the lightning port, the electronics and converter you have perfectly match that of the microphone that you're using. And that gives you superior audio quality to what you would get by using a 3.5 millimeter jack or even an external converter. Sennheiser worked directly with Apogee and integrated their outstanding A to D or analog to digital converter. In case you don't know, an A to D converter takes the sound the microphone picks up and then converts it into a digital signal. But what's nice here is that because of the lightning connection, Sennheiser is able to use Apogee's pure digital 24-bit 96K conversion together with a digitally controlled preamp instead of relying on iOS to perform that function. This means that we get a much more rich and true sound because they're using gear designed for music instead of gear designed for making phone calls. Now let's very quickly do a comparison of the audio that we get by recording directly to the iPhone versus what we get by using the hand mic digital. Here's an example of me recording directly into the iPhone using the built-in microphone. This should give you an idea of the type of sound that you should expect when recording directly into an iPhone. And here's an example of me using the Sennheiser hand mic digital. Hopefully the difference is pretty obvious. Here's another example using the iPhone's built-in microphone. I intentionally turned on a heater over there so that you can hear how the microphone picks up a lot of ambient noise. And here's a final example of me using the Sennheiser microphone again. I left the heater on so that you could see that this microphone picks up a lot less ambient noise than the iPhone's microphone does. So I think it's pretty obvious that it's not even close. Now the hand mic digital is based on the Sennheiser 835. It has a dynamic shock mount capsule, which has an excellent suppression of handling noise. This is particularly important with a handheld mic where people talk with their hands and they tend to move the microphone a lot. You don't want all these movements to introduce any disruptions to the audio. The hand mic digital is also wind resistant, so it's great for both indoor and outdoor use. And in addition, it's immune to radiation from your cell phone, which is critical since obviously it's being used with mobile devices. Other than just being used as a handheld, it also comes with a nice mic stand, so you can set that up if you wanna use it for your podcast. This microphone has a cardioid pickup pattern. If you're not familiar with that term, it basically refers to where the microphone picks up sound from. So for example, an omnidirectional microphone is going to equally pick up sound from everywhere around it. A cardioid microphone like this one picks up sound in the shape of an upside down heart. Basically that means that it favors sounds coming from the front while still picking up some sounds from the side and pretty much rejecting everything coming from the back. What can be confusing is what's considered front. This is considered a front facing mic, which basically means that the front is the top of the microphone. The back is the bottom and these are the sides. And the reason for why that's great for a handheld microphone is that you don't have to worry about which way it's turned in your hand. Because even if I rotate the microphone, the front stays in the same spot. It's just coming in from the top. If you're recording alone, just make sure that you're speaking to the front or top of the microphone. If you're doing an interview on the go, for example, just make sure that you point the microphone at the other person while they're talking. And again, the closer you get the microphone to the source, the better the audio will be. Let's talk a little bit about setup. Setup takes no time at all. Just connect a micro USB to the bottom of the mic, 
then snap the cap to secure the cable in place. Now take the lightning cable and connect it to your iOS device, and boom, you're ready to go. Something else that I didn't even know about this mic until I got it is that it doesn't only work with iOS devices. Sennheiser also provides a USB cable that lets you connect the HenMic Digital directly to your Mac or PC and use it to get much better audio than the built-in microphone. Here is an example of me recording directly into the built-in microphone on the MacBook Air. This will give you an example of the type of audio you should expect if that's the microphone you're going to use. And this is an example of me using the Sennheiser hand mic digital. I wanted to see if you could hear the difference between the two microphones. I wanted to talk a little bit about the apps that I use with this microphone. For audio alone, I like using Apogee's Meta Recorder app. And for video, I love Filmic Pro. What's really great is that because of the lightning connection, you can practically use this microphone with any iOS app. You can use it with a native video recorder, voice memo app, you can use it to stream live to Instagram, Periscope, YouTube. There are so many uses for this microphone if you're an iOS user. One thing that I wanted to mention is that when using this mic, make sure that the red light is on while recording, indicating that the app that you're using has recognized and selected the microphone as the active recording device. If the red light is not on, that means your app selected another audio source, either the built-in mic or maybe even a Bluetooth device. The best thing to do is to make sure that the hand mic digital is the last source connected to your iOS device. I usually hold the microphone with the light facing me so that I can immediately see that it's recording. If you have any questions about this mic or specific use cases, just drop me a line in the comment section below. I hope that you found this video useful if you're looking for a handheld microphone for your iOS device, or if you just wanted some more information about the Sennheiser Hand Mic Digital. I'm super impressed with the microphone's quality and how easy it is to use. I love the fact that I don't have to use any adapters. I can just take it, plug it into my phone, and then start recording. Ultimately, I think I can tell you anything I want, but the proof is in the audio itself, and I think that there is no question that this microphone delivers great results. It currently sells for $259, which is at the higher end in this space, but is definitely in line with the quality that it provides. I'll put a couple of links in the description to where you can get some more technical information or even buy this microphone or even if you just want to support this channel. Give this video a thumbs up, tweet it, share it, and if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe and notification buttons. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Tech Gear Talk. Good luck and see you soon.